Nicky Hawkins, outside St Mary's, West Ham Fan TV. Um, not a great game of football to come and watch, was it really? He was lucky to come away with a point in the end. Definitely not, mate. But, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen to us now. Teams are going to do that to us. They're going to sit in and they're going to make it difficult for us. They know how we play. We weren't really at it. But I think we tired a bit towards the end, to be honest. But if teams are going to sit back like, like Southampton and, and, and let us break them down, we wasn't great to that doing that. The only thing that worries me a little bit is nothing really on the bench to cut. Like if Antonio ain't on it, again, we're mate, in trouble. We got to see what Plan B is now, haven't we? I mean, now Antonio's missing for a game. We got to see what Plan B is, and I'm not really sure what that is at the moment. I'm really not sure. You're worried what about what it is. Oh, I'm very worried about what it is. But I mean, hey, at the end of the day, you know, we're still unbeaten. We haven't lost. You know, I mean, and we're going to get a lot of this wherever we go now. Teams are going to sit back in, make it difficult for us, and uh, it's up to us to break them down and you know find the holes and score yeah, some goals. Absolutely. Um, did you think we deserved the win today? Deserved no. the point even? No. I mean, if it wasn't for Declan Rice, that's a hell of a clearance off the line. Yeah. I mean, he did have a decent game. I thought Sue Check was a little bit off the boil today. He just, you know, I, I love the guy to death. Don't get me wrong. You know, he's been done brilliant for us, but he looked a little bit tired. But then they've been away on playing all the national yeah, football. Yeah. I mean, you've got to expect that, you know, and we've got European football, so that's going to, you know, that's going to happen You're there. going to start to get tired a little bit I now. mean, yeah, we did. Look, there was a few leggy players out there in the last 10 minutes. and So what do we do firstly? Do we start resting a couple of these players, give them a little bit of a rest? Because we've only got four weeks in, there's another international break. Definitely, mate. I mean, absolutely, definitely. They need a rest. You can see it out there. There's four or five of them who definitely looked a little bit leggy and they're going to need a rest. Um, like I said, Plan B's got to come into action now. I don't know what it is. Flasic up front, I, don't, I really don't know. Mm. But, I mean, we've got to start bringing a few young lads in and, you know, giving them a go. Yeah. It, it's got to happen. Otherwise, these guys are going to, you know, they're going to run they're out of gas. Out, yeah. They're going to run out of gas. They're going to burn out. But, you know, it's not <laughs> so only what we expected, isn't no, it? Exactly. I mean, yeah, you know, we knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. So, I mean, it's not a shock, is it? Mm. You know, but... Hey, I'm not upset. I'm not so upset because, mate, you hit the post, that could have went in. I mean... Right away in the Premier League is a good point, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, if you if you win at home and you pick a point up away from home, you know, it's a way to go. I mean, what if we drop down about fifth now? I mean, hey, we'd be taking that, wouldn't we, at the start of the season at the end of the day. No worries at all, bud. Thank hey, you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.